This home remedy protects the kidneys from phosphates. This vitamin improves bone and heart health. This small iron fish gives you a serious help in restoring kidney health fast. Catherine from Double O Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. There are four easy mineral hacks you can start using right now to restore kidney health fast. Keeping minerals such as phosphorus, iron, and sodium in balance is key to protecting your heart, bones, and kidneys. Unfortunately, it's not easy and mineral and bone disorder, having too much phosphorus and too little calcium and iron is a serious complication of CKD. Most people with kidney failure suffer from it and it's very bad for the kidneys and general health. On the bright side, today we will see 4 easy and powerful health hacks proven to help avoid this. These will seriously help restore kidney health fast. In particular, don't miss our number one. This may be the most powerful way on earth to fight anemia. But before... Number four, take times to lower phosphorus. Managing phosphorus is one of the hardest parts of the kidney diet. But it's also something you must do if you want to restore kidney health. Phosphorus is the reason why dairy is restricted. Milk, cheese, butter, yogurt contain too much phosphorus to be healthy. When this mineral accumulates, the body will pull out calcium from the bones. High phosphorus levels are also associated with a faster declining kidney function and higher chance of death. And while prescription binders are an option, there is a less known home remedy for phosphorus levels that can seriously help you improve your kidney health. Calcium carbonate, sold either as supplement or as antacid tablets by Tom's and many other brands. Calcium carbonate sticks to the phosphorus in the foods you eat. The phosphorus is then removed through the bowel, effectively stopping your body from taking extra phosphorus in. According to a recent study, effects on blood levels and kidney health may be visible in just 3 weeks. The interesting part here is that calcium carbonate not only is just as effective as many prescription phosphorus binders, it may even have less side effects. Just be careful because Tom's markets various types of antacid and not all of them are calcium carbonate. Some are made from starch and are no good. Now guys, while you should discuss the correct dose with your doctor, we have some dosages known to be safe and effective. Depending on your calcium and phosphorus levels, you may take between 800 and 2000 mg a day of calcium carbonate during the main meals. As an added bonus, calcium carbonate also works as a calcium supplement, which is great, frankly. But it also comes with a risk of vascular calcification. I'll show you how to avoid this in a moment. Guys, are you ready taking steps to lower your phosphorus levels? What's working for you? Let's talk about it in comment section. And if you think this tip was interesting, I have three even better tips to restore your kidney function and balance your minerals. In particular, don't miss our number one as it's the most powerful way to fight anemia. Yes, with this small iron fish! Now, before that, how to turn the extra calcium you're getting from these antacids into actual bones and prevent vessel calcification? Number three, take vitamin K2 for calcium. Calcium deficiency is a common and serious problem for people suffering from CKD. If levels of calcium are low, each skin, bone pain, and brittleness, weak immune system, but also heart problems are common. 
This is a pathology known as mineral and bone disorder and it's a serious threat to kidney health. While one of the best ways to avoid this problem is being very careful with phosphorus intake and supplementing some calcium, there is more to this issue than surface. Because this extra calcium needs to go in the bones and not in the arteries. How to do this? Vitamin K2 can help. This little known vitamin can be a serious help to restore kidney health. The reason is calcium metabolism. Now, vitamin K2, most people, even doctors, have never heard of vitamin K2, but this powerful nutrient plays an essential role in many aspects of your health. Studies confirm that an increased intake of this nutrient can prevent cardiovascular-related death in people with kidney problems. And remember that what helps with the heart helps with the kidneys too. This is because the function of vitamin K2 is to regulate calcium disposition, which is of key importance for people with kidney problems as we have seen. Vitamin K2 works in tandem with vitamin D3 to deposit calcium in the bones and not in the veins and kidneys. According to many experts, this could lead to a serious improvement in kidney health. But while vitamin D is strongly recommended by today's guidelines for people with kidney problems, vitamin K2 is still an unknown quantity. Still, many researchers believe that vitamin K2 can be the nutrient with the fastest and most powerful effects on your health. Now, vitamin K2 is very different from vitamin K. Vitamin K may even be dangerous. Vitamin K1 deficiency is rare and almost non-existent, unlike for vitamin K2. If you want to try this supplement, which is proven to help bone, kidney, and heart health when paired with extra calcium and vitamin D3, take the MK7 form of K2. Studies use doses between 100 micrograms and 400 micrograms per day. The safest route is always to start with the lower dosage, 100 micrograms, and to consult a doctor. As I was saying, to get the benefits from vitamin K2, you also need vitamin D3. If you want to know more about how to supplement vitamin D3, please watch this video up here. But before, our number two. Number two, avoid marketing traps to avoid sodium. Okay. Let's talk about one of the most dangerous minerals, sodium. Excess of sodium or salt in the diet is one of the worst causes of hypertension, heart and kidney disease. Because while salt by itself is not dangerous, you only need a very small amount of it. This is what you need, 1.5 grams of salt a day, no more. And I know that you guys following me right now do your best to avoid excess sodium in a diet. The problem is not you. The problem is marketing. Fact. According to a recent statistic, over half of snacks that are sold as healthy are too high in fat, salt and sugar. Yes, it's very easy to get fooled by the marketing department. It's basically their job. Some of the worst offenders include vegetable juice. Drinking vegetable juice is a simple way to get your veggies, but if you don't read nutrition labels, you could be drinking a lot of sodium too. And also, salad dressing. In a review of major brand name foods sold in US stores, Salad dressing averaged 304 mg of sodium per 2 tablespoons or 28 grams serving. Don't ruin your salad! And also avoid canned vegetables. Canned vegetables tend to be higher in sodium since salt is often used as a preservative. The veggies may still be healthy though, but be sure to rinse them very well. Always avoid sandwiches. Considering the bread, 
cured meats, processed cheese and condiments, one single sandwich can easily surpass 1500 mg of sodium. That's a bad mistake if you're following a renal diet. Ok guys, time now for maybe the biggest mineral imbalance people with kidney problems have to face. Anemia. Solving this problem could be extremely helpful in restoring kidney function. What if I told you a small iron fish could give you an instant help with this? Number 1. Cast iron fish. Yes, this fish can effectively fight iron deficiency anemia. Just placing it in a cooking vessel with water can help. And guys, taking care of anemia, which affects most people with kidney disease, is one of the most effective ways to slow down kidney disease and restore some of your kidney function. This is proven by science. So, how does this little fish help with anemia? It helps because it's made from cast iron. And just like cast iron cookware, it releases some iron into the food you're preparing. So, if you're making rice or a stew or anything else that requires water, just add a couple of drops of lemon per liter and this fish in the water. What happens is that it releases around 6 to 8 milligrams of iron per use, which is extremely helpful in fighting anemia. Now, this is actually the cheapest way to add more iron because these fishes cost just around $12 each and they last up to 5 years. Just like iron cast cookware that I always recommend, you just need to wash and dry it immediately after cooking and oil it up a bit so it doesn't rust. And obviously, if you have anemia, there are other steps you need to take to fight it. Actually, if you want to know everything about how to beat anemia, this video up here is for you. A new video is coming next Friday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.